Chapter 5 Warm-Up, Algebra 1 Exponent Review, Our Essential Question. How do you use properties of exponents? There were six problems left on the page for independent practice. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at those. N is the root. So I am looking for the third root of negative 125. The root tells us how many times that number is supposed to get multiplied together. So I know I'm supposed to get multiplied together three times. Because I ended up 5, I am guessing 5 is my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and try 5. 5 times 5 times 5. This gives me 125. Not the negative 125 that I needed. So I'm going to try negative 5 instead. Negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 does in fact give me the negative 125 that I needed. So my final answer is a negative 5. Next problem, the root is a 2. So I'm looking for the second root of negative 49. So what one number do you multiply together two times, one, two, to get negative 49? Well, seven times seven gives me a positive 49. Negative seven times negative seven would also give me the positive 49. Neither of them gave me the negative 49 that I needed. So you have no real solutions here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We have the fifth root of 243. So I'm looking for a number that gets multiplied together five times. So one, two, three, four, five. The same exact number is going to get multiplied together five times. So if I put ones in there, my answer is always going to be one. I don't start at one. So I'm going to start at two. So two times two times two times two times two. This equals 32. Not the number I needed, kind of not close. So let's go ahead and try four. I'm going to skip three. The only reason why I'm skipping three is because I see it's kind of far away, so I want to just kind of skip a few. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, that number got way too big. So maybe three was my answer. One, two, three, four, five. Turns out three was my answer. Multiplication, when you're doing more to multiplying, it skips really fast. So you can choose to skip count and see if you can find it quicker, but sometimes you accidentally miss it, like I did. So what one number did I multiply together five times to get 243? Three. So my final answer is three. This one down here, we're looking for the fifth root of negative one. So this means we're looking for what number do you multiply the other five times? So one, two, three, four, five, and end up getting a negative one. Well, I know the only way to get one is to have a bunch of ones, so here are a bunch of ones. But this will only give me one. I needed negative one. So then I'm going to assume that these are going to be negatives then. So negative times a negative is a positive, times another negative is a negative times another negative is now positive, times another negative is now negative. So this is, in fact, negative 1. So what one number did I multiply together five times to get final answer of negative 1? It was negative 1. Eighth root of 256. So this means I have a number being multiplied together eight times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And remember, these all have to be the same exact number. That's a lot of multiplying. So I'm going to start at the smallest number of 2 and see what I get. 2 times 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 2 is 256, which is the number I was looking for. So I know all these positive 2s would equal it, but I know that all these negative 2s would have equaled it as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That also would have given me positive 256. So my answer is both the positive and the negative. 2 would have given me 256. Last problem. We're looking for the fifth root of negative 243. The root is a 5, which means I'm multiplying it together 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because the inside number is a negative, I know the number I choose has to be negative. And I'm going to go ahead and start at the smallest number of 2. So I'm going to test the number negative 2. This is a negative 32. It's too small. I don't want to go too far over, so I'm actually going to try negative 3 now and see if it would work. 
and that in fact is negative 243. So what one number did I multiply together five times? Negative three. 